Time to install some vinyl flooring. Always make sure to thoroughly clean and prep the area before laying down the glue and the vinyl flooring. This room is really long and narrow, so it took a pretty sizable piece of vinyl in order to cover all of the floor without seams. The dimensions were about eight feet across by 21 feet long, which means that we had to get a really big roll and into the room and then turn it sideways, which took a lot of finagling. We also then cut off the extra like three-ish feet on one side in order to make it more manageable before fully trimming down to the proper size. If you remember from some of my previous videos on the Harrison House project, this room was a workshop, part of an add-on a couple decades ago. And so it was just a bare concrete floor, really haphazard design, not really well taken care of because it didn't need to be. But going forward for the new owners, it's gonna be used as a spare bedroom for the sister-in-law. So we've been doing a lot of changes to make it a comfortable, more beautiful room. That includes laying down this final flooring. So I love the Henry Pro 647 floor adhesive. It goes on with a roller and is this vibrant purple, which makes it really easy to tell where you have actually applied the adhesive versus where you still need to go. You wait until it changes color and gets really tacky. Usually about 30-ish minutes can be quicker on some substrates. And then use a 75 pound or 100 pound roller in order to fully secure it in all corners. I go in every direction, left, right, sideways, crisscross pattern. So I make sure that every corner and edge is really well secured and there's no bubbles anywhere in the entire room. Before doing the vinyl floor, we did some skin coating to make the walls more smooth. And now we're ready to put a trim and then paint. That's what it was like before.